We are here, we are here, we are here. What is an amazing day? Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up USD CAD. Let's take a look at what's going on in the market. Price action candle, last candle in the market is a doji. We can see markets working its way sideways. We have price action, overall higher highs, overall low lows, midpoint. So let's take a look at what's what happened in the market. Well, price action started from the midpoint, pushed up to a high. We received a double top, first, second, third. Fourth market drop down, market broken retest three four levels down, came all the way down to a major area support, which formed the first leg, second leg, third leg. Market pushed up from that fourth, so we have that fourth leg uh, formation at double bottom. After that market did break, came back to retest, and then market pushed back up, pushed back down. So market is coming from price action, <clears throat> coming from a double top. Okay, so price is currently at the retest goal. So let's take a look at what it can be looking like. If that market's gonna push down from that double top, we'll be seeing that first leg, second leg, third leg market push to the fourth. So we see the third leg into the fourth leg. I mean, the fourth leg pushing down is the break of the midpoint coming back up the retest. So this is where we look for entry at to see if that market is gonna push down. Okay? If not, we know that the market's gonna continue to consolidate sideways. If that market is gonna work its way up, it was coming from, it's coming from multiple pushes out to that bottom, coming down here for the first leg, second leg, third leg, just doing it as an overall fourth leg retest, market pushed up once. So we looking for a retest here to see if that market's gonna push up again. So first, second, third, fourth. So market price act is coming from some type of triple bottom, maybe a quadruple bottom, because we got about two pushes down in this area here. So let's see two a quadruple bottom price is coming from. And we have to retest this market trying to wake it work its way up to that midpoint of that overall area. So let's clear the screen off. So price action, higher highs of that area where Price can return, price action, lower slow, and we can see the midpoint right in the middle. So price is under the midpoint. It re is retesting that area a few times. So let's take a closer look into that area. So below price action, we can see that market's coming from that support. So if it's respected, we'll see that first leg, second leg, third leg, Market push up for the fourth retest, one retest, and we get a green engulfing pattern. That's going to engulf any of these candles here. Market's going to push up, okay? If not, we'll get an engulfing pattern to the downside. The market be pushing down, and then we follow up from the first, second, third, fourth retest, one. So market be coming from the triple top if that market pushes down in that area. If not, market's going to consolidate right below that midpoint line, right above. Um, second level lows of that area. So it's between second level lows and that midpoint of that area on the monthly time frame. Then down to the weekly, let's see what's going on. Price action on the weekly time frame, glass candle in the market. Excuse me, is a doji. So market's consolidating sideways, as we can see. We have that consolidation. sideways so let's see what's going on if that marks a drop down from that area so we look for patterns in that area we're gonna look at this as uh one we can look at this as one and we see a retest here so if you connect this together first leg second leg third leg fourth leg uh retest and market coming down so market's gonna jump come down from maybe a triple top of that area or a quadruple top if you add this and we have a spike up to that high as well so multiple times, once, twice, three, four, five pushes to that top. Could be full exhaustion. The market's come down. All we gotta do is just form 
engulfing pattern in that area. Push that market up and down. Head it down to the daily. Price action of the daily is a inverted bullish candle. So price is trying to work its way up from the previous candle. So that area is starting a new area of support. So we have price action, high, low. Uh, price is right above the midpoint. We have a W. Market rolled that midpoint a few times. So how many touches? Once, twice, three, three four, about five touches to that bottom of that area of that midpoint. And we see market working its way up. That area of resistance. Price action did not break the third to last candle in the market to close out and push up, but we have a week to the top. So that area could be denied and it could be just showing up first leg, second leg, dropping down from an overall double top. One push up in this side, push up in this side, market drops down. Headed down to the four hour time frame to see what's going on in the market. Price action, the doji working its way sideways. Three hours of doji working its way sideways. Price action. <clears throat> Is a doji as well working this way sideways got a little bit of a dip so it's a break and retest of this area so market broke came back to retest um just consolidated at a low on that midpoint headed down to the one hour consolidation market working this way sideways you see the break and retest still the market is pushing sideways for more consolidation headed down to the 40 same as well 45 same as well a little more than that i mean we see the break and retest but also we see the spike up and we have a bearish candle that could be pushed that market down if we get that engulfment. So if that engulfment does happen, market price is coming from that first, second, third, and we'll see that drop down. Probably see a break of retest when that market drop down further. Headed down to the 30. <coughs> uh, bearish doji. Price is working its way sideways. 15 minute. Okay, we're starting to get some a bearish engulfing pattern. Um, bearish hammer. So price is trying to work its way down on the 15 minute time frame coming from this first, second, third. We can see that spike. So this 15 minute, I think the 45, maybe the hour is reading the same thing that double bottom is trying to form. Price, price action. <coughs> Excuse me. Price action is about to engulf the second to glass candle and the third, third to last candle. We're just looking for a uh, price to overlap the fourth to fifth last candle in this area, that market could push down. We'd be looking for that market to work out further. If not, it will be respected for first, second, third, fourth retest, and markets could move back up. Headed down to the five. Okay, so we have price actions coming from the area of that double top overall, first, second, third. We can see that market spiking down. All we waiting for is price action to engulf the previous side that can push that market down to this level here. You got to figure out what's going on. Headed down to the three minute. Okay, so price action can do bearish inverted hammer. Oh, excuse me. Bearish hammer. So price is working its way down. Coming from this area, this triple top and a retest. Overall, we can see that a double top um price action if it closes out like this is a 50 50 chance it could still drop down further that means we have to wait for extra candles to form if not that market could start running to an area of support and work its way back up so price action dropped all the way down here it wasn't able to close out so if price would have closed out here it would have overlapped this area here that would have pushed that market down to new areas but that did not happen Price action did draw back. Okay, didn't close out yet, but we have a long wick. So that long wick could be an area of support that can be respected for that market to work its way back up. Maybe from a double bottom, maybe from a single bottom. Then that's a one minute time frame. Okay, price action, we're starting to see a little bit of retest. That's a break market retest. So for us to see this market's gonna push up, you wanna see price break above the third to last candle. Or price below, break below the third last week. Okay, guys, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching and thank you for your attention.